put together this video to demonstrate the effects of extracting gravel from below the water table. The top layer of the aquifer consists of sand and gravel, so pea gravel and sand were used. Here's an example of an aquifer. Ours is a little different, and uh, we have vertical pen penetration between the layers. Uh, the sand and gravel was mixed together to simulate the soil conditions. And the video has been sped up, so the waiting times were eliminated. Water was added, and it was allowed to soak in. And of course, I overdid it, so I had to remove the excess water. Here's a top view of what it looks like. And this is a gravel pit. The gravel was extracted using a metal container with holes to allow the water to drain out. I didn't want to take out too much water, so I let it sit for a little while. And you can see there I marked the level of the water. Notice how it takes a little while for the water level to change. There was a difference in water depth in the two little sections here and that was due to the time that it took for the water to move through the gravel and sand mixture. I removed about a quarter of the sand and gravel but the water level dropped almost two-thirds. Consider that they will also be pumping out 234,000 gallons of water per day. I'm wondering what the effects will be on nearby wetlands. The water level will drop due to displacement, due to the removal of the gravel, uh, pumping out 234,000 gallons of water per day. Consider that the average swimming pool holds about 18 to 20,000 gallons of water. And of course, once that water is exposed, you have evaporation. And the Grand River Conservation Authority is about to request that we all reduce our water consumption by 10% due to low water levels. And the pit hasn't even opened yet. Now the pit is less than 200 meters away from Gilbert Creek. And then as well, there's uh, another forest and a pond and a stream right on the pit lands. What's gonna happen to them? Consider as well that the pit will be right on top of our wellhead protection area. There should not be a, any gravel extracted from our wellhead protection areas. And the pit is located right across the road from our wellheads, within 50 feet. They plan on leaving us a lake in this sensitive area that will allow contaminants, including E. coli, to enter directly into our aquifer. It's not worth the risk. Gravel pit should not be anywhere near drinking water, especially right on top of it. Visit our website for more information, ccob.ca, Concerned Citizens of Brant.